make a start then okay Rob so Rob asked me um, if I could go through um, how I do the diving uh, high board diving images which I'm very happy to do um, and so if I bring up my Lightroom screen now um, and drag that across um, and so um, an example of what we end up with is here so so that's that's an example of what we'll eventually end up with and so the process second might be even faster then it does naturally make the background go quite dark and that's really helpful with the cutting out so how are we going to cut it out well um i don't know um whether you use this tool at all but about um oh, probably about a year ago now uh, there was a Photoshop update in Photoshop CC and they introduced this select subject tool and it's absolutely fantastic. So quick select tool, it's up here, it's your standard Photoshop channel and go up across the top and just hit select subject and it goes away and it does selector. So obviously the algorithm is much more um, precise and what we find is by using that brush there, but if we find now, if we just go up and just follow, you don't want the brush to be much bigger than the drops. Can you see how I've selected them? Okay. And you just go over the edge of the hair. It's really good for the edge of hair and because now it will start to pick all those edges up. And often at this stage, it still it looks rubbish. I might want to make it just a fraction bigger again. Um, but I'd say that's pretty good. I, I like the way we've got all the swirl in and I like the way that we're reading left to right. So we just accept that up here. Ooh. There we go, we accept that. And now we've got her. We've got her, I'll make the screen full size again. And now we've got her. Now, this is where we now refine um, if any of the selections come in that we don't like, okay? And the way we do that is by drawing on the mask, okay? So you can see it's come in and it's brought in. It that, it copies that mask to, the, to this layer. So now, white reveals, black conceals. So now this adjustment is only being applied to the diver. So if you look now, we still get all these drops nicely emphasized, okay? Let me get, just to give you a really clear example, Let's just do this. Let's put a brightness contrast adjustment layer on. Let's really bang it up ridiculously. Okay, ruin the image. And now, if I copy this mask up to there, can you see? It's just applying it to the diver. And so this is something that I do all the time. You've, you've spent a lot of time. I can now adjust the brightness and contrast of just the diver. Mm -hmm. um, can you see, by the way, there's still a bit of the background appearing. Yeah. It just became obvious when I did that. And so what I need to do is... Um, I was going to also, also ask about, um, this is more really to do with the lighting, is the um, the two roto lights, mm. um, presumably you've got them strobed to mm. the... It looks like you've got a Lincroms above it in the um, soft box. Is, is that yeah, right? that's right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. So presumably they have about enough power to sort of just kick into the uh, make a little kicker light onto her back of her legs, which and her face a and her face. That, yes, the, the rotor lights I only bought in on the third shoot. Mm -hmm. So um, I think if you remember from the video, you could see there's two fairly big soft boxes with battery powered yeah. LED chrome flashes. Mm -hmm. um, but I found and I use those on the first and the second shoot, but this.